on site at stage two of the 2022 Paris-Nice here in Orléans. The buses are leaving town in the opposite directions in which the riders finish the stage. And on top of today's stage finish was none other than Quick Step Alpha Vinyl Sprinter Fabio Jakobsen working hard at the end of the day. That included crashes, echelons, a true day of hard man's racing, a day that Team Quickstep loves. Out there over the 160 kilometers, heading south here to town, we had a crosswind all day from the east, from the riders left, just blowing the pelotons to shreds. The groups were spread out all over the road, and it was Jumbo Visma, the team with race leader Christophe Laporte, the team with Primoz Rolich, the team with Walt Van Ert, that trio rode away in stage one of this race. That team was on the front ripping things apart, as too was Trek Sigafredo, and they benefited with riders like Mads Pedersen up in front, in the end, vying for the sprint, while the crashes caught out many. We saw some escapes go up the road, but nothing would quite stick because the, the groups were fighting for these echelons. And one of the crashes involved American Brandon McNulty at around about 87 kilometers out. And then we had five groups on the road. The whole thing was split up with around 60 kilometers to go. Simon Yates was in one of those groups and they were fighting to get together. We saw the groups one and two join up at the front, but missing out, one of the big riders missing out was Guillaume Martin from Team Kofidi. And also back there in the group was American Mateo Jorgensen from Team Movistar and also American Nilsson Palace. Wasn't it a great day out for the Americans? And then at 35 kilometers out, we had the intermediate sprint where Laporte, the, already the race leader, picked up the sprint and gained more bonus seconds for his race lead ahead of his teammate Walt Van Aert and ahead of Zenek Stebar in third place. Oh, the buses are leaving town. Everybody's heading to their hotels. Stefan Bissiger, the Swiss time trial king from EF Easy Post. Well, he was out on the attack with 12K to go and the Peloton was pulling him back. And then he attacked again around 6.5 kilometers out. Echelon spread out in the cross of the road. Movistar was trying to bring back American Mateo Jorgensen and they were almost there, but a crash again as they were all echeloned out. Mateo goes down with Stefan Kreuzwick from Jumbo Visma and Mateo, oh, so frustrated. I spoke with him here at the finish line. He looked bloody, he looked bruised, but he seemed to be okay, but super upset with how the day panned out for him. Stefan Bissiger, the Swiss time trial machine, tried to stay free, but quick step alpha vinyl. They had a plan in mind for Fabio Jakobsen and they were lining things out heading in here into town and gave Fabio Jakobsen the win, already winning in Portugal, already winning in Belgium this year. And now Fabio Jakobsen wins again here, stage two of Paris-Nice, and it puts him on path for the Paris-Nice because team manager, general manager, Patrick Lefaire said that he should be going to the Tour de France instead of Mark Cavendish to lead the team in the sprints. And today he proved why. And none other than Walt Van Aert was second in that sprint with Laporte, the race leader, third. And now if we look at the general classification, it's Laporte with a five second lead over Van Aert, 11 seconds back to Rolich, Pierre Latour at 36 seconds, Zenek Stebar at 38 seconds, Mads Pedersen at 39 seconds, and all the way down in the list. While all the riders are back at their hotels, everybody's wrapping up because on tap in this eight day stage race, we have stage three coming up in Paris, Nice.